it's Pam from Ben McFuzzy Legs, and I just wanted to talk today. Hi, it's Pam from Ben McFuzzy Legs with Monday's Eatsy Tips for the small artist and craft person setting up their wee shop on Eatsy. And today I just wanted to talk about a little app that I use sometimes that's really helpful for your shop that's called Photofuse. Now, the main reason I use this app is if if we have a look, sometimes my photographs, this listing I've just put up here of the bulldog, as you can see, when I take pictures in my light tent, it's not always the prettiest. And I prefer to have these beautiful white backgrounds that still seem quite fashionable in Etsy just now. Um, so I use, although I own Photoshop and other, we can use other photo editing software, I actually find Photofuse one of the fastest ways just to get this bright white background. It's actually quite simple and it's free, so got to love that. So what we're going to do, I've just put up this listing, so go on to Photofuse. Like the other apps I've spoke about, you have to connect up, log in with your shop and agree to let it connect to your shop. And then once you've done that, you can get all loads, loads of features. So because it's just listed, I've got all these. These are all my listings in my shop, but it's not updated the listing that I've just put in yet. Now, what I find I have to do to make it update this um, if other people have got other ways to do this, and please let me know in the comments below. But I just, down here to the number of pages, I just click onto a different page, and then I hit Import Etsy Listings and Active Listings. I find if I don't do that, then it doesn't tend to import the newest listing. I'm not entirely sure why, but if we do this, then it does. just takes a couple of minutes. It's pulling all the listings from your Etsy shop into this app which is fantastic. Go back to page one and my little bulldog's appeared here. It's updated all my new listings. So I'm just going to click to expand bulldog listing. Now you can see all the pictures that are in there and I'm just going to click on the first picture of the bulldog. Now this is so easy. We've got the magic highlighter, which is what I tend to use, which is the quickest of them all. The regular highlighter, I'll speak about the features when I'm using them in a second, an eraser, which obviously erases things, a crop button, and you can rotate your pictures and undo what you just did. So we'll start with the magic highlighter, and this little slider here allows you to change the size of your brush. So all I'm going to do is click and drag over the area I want to be cut out, which is my dog. And as you can see, as I'm dragging places where the brush is, it's filling in other areas that it thinks I want to keep. If you just use the standard marker, then it only gets the bits that you click on, but the magic one fills in extra gaps. And as you can see, when I'm not clicking, it starts to show as a preview. If I hit finish just now, then that's what it would give us, which is amusing, but not what we want. We want the whole dog. So I'm just going to, with the magic eraser, try and get all of my dog that I can. Now, what you'll find sometimes happens is, as you can see here, the eraser's picked out bits of the shadow in the light tent. But thankfully, when I look, at the dog itself, it's it's smart. It's decided not to pick that. Um, it's taken a little bit of the highlight, of the highlight, the shadow below the dog, so that can be quite good. If you've got quite nice defined shadows at the feet of the dog, you could also try and highlight them to see if it gets a bit more realistic with a shadow below its feet. Now this time it's got a shadow below the dog, but I'm not a fan of that, so I'm gonna jump in with the eraser and just take out these bits and see what it decides to do. And that looks much better. I'm pretty happy with that. I could just crop this slightly because I want the dog to take up 
most of the picture. So there we go, trying to keep it as a square for Etsy. That looks pretty good. You have sliders at the side here, brightness and contrast. But actually, usually I find these actually do a pretty good job just by themselves. Sometimes if you don't have like a white dog on a whitish background, it's really going to struggle to remove the background from that. Or if you've got a really fussy background um, with a lot of different colours and things. But lifting the dog out from the not so pure white light tent, you can see it comes up with a pretty good image. Um, so I'm just going to hit finish. And it finishes for me. And when we come back, it's processing this. You get an email once it's done, but it really doesn't take too long. I'm just going to jump onto the second picture as well. And just the same, using the magic highlighter, I'm just outlining the dog, letting it pick what it wants. Now this might be harder because of the white of the face against the white background. As you can see, it's picked out a little bit of the shadows. We'll see what happens on the live preview. It's actually not bad, but there's a bit of shadow behind the dog's ear that I don't want. So we're just going to remove that. And while I'm here, I'll just take out these, hopefully to help help the program decide what, what stuff I want to keep. Let's see what it comes up with. Actually, that looks pretty good. There's a little bit of shadow behind the, do at the dog's back feet just to make it look like it's standing. Um, yeah. On the preview that looks pretty good so I'm just going to hit finish again and we're straight back to this main page it's going to take its minute to process and then once it does we're ready to send these listings to Etsy now you can as you see you've got a whole lot of things you can use here um, we can make new listings we can do everything from inside this app but the main thing I just use it for is just what I've done to get the white background on my pictures to cut out the background and then when you hover over the E it gives the option to publish so I'm just going to hit that and it shows each drop down is giving you an option if I wanted a different image to be my first image I would just click on one of them but looking at that, that's what I want to send to Etsy. So when I hit finish, what's happening just now is it's sending that and it's actually altering my listings on Etsy. So once it finishes, <laughs> these things take a minute or two, but it's really not too bad considering all the work it's doing. It's saving me having to edit these things in a different program and then save it and publish it somewhere up to Etsy for myself. So it's actually saving quite a bit of time. Again, it's not always perfect. Sometimes it messes up images. So you might have to take them out to a proper photo editing software. But actually, when, when I consider how easy it is, mainly it does a pretty good job. OK, so it's done that now. So when I go back to Etsy, all I'm just going to do is refresh the page and you can see my dog is not only highlight it's not only on his nice white background he's also cut out and when I click on him we're also in the second picture is also how I edited it and for all the time that took that's a pretty good edit that most people would be happy with if you don't have the skills to use something like photo ed Photoshop or any of the free photo editing software out there that's a good online version that works really well for you and as you can see the majority of my shop I've actually used that for and it gives quite a nice cohesive look across the whole shop except for the times when I'm in Scotland so this doesn't happen often when we've got nice weather and I can actually take shots outside but mainly most of my shots are on the white background. Now, as you can see that there's this guy who I haven't removed the background yet because he just didn't work so well in photo views because the dog and the background was too similar. So all I did in the app was brightened it up a bit. And I don't think he stands out too badly, but I can come back and do it. And then on this listing, I'll have to come and edit in a proper software. 
this is an example of when photoviews can't really cope with the whites in a dog and it just looks a bit weird so I'm going to have to go in and do that by hand but overall it copes with most things a whole lot better than I could manage you see listings like this we've even got some of the shadows at their feet so they look a bit more realistic anyway I hope this has helped certainly worth giving photo views a go it doesn't take up any time and it's totally free um, so please if you're looking for more tips and information like this please please subscribe um, don't forget to come back I have tips like this every Monday and check out my playlists for some of my other tips and advice on Etsy thank you very much